Hi folks, welcome back to the workshop. In one of my previous videos, I went over the comparison between the Gary Wines Bushcrafter from LT Wright and the Adventure Sworn Classic Bushcraft Knife. Um, and in that video, when I was talking about the sheath comparison, this is the LT Wright sheath, I mentioned how it was, it was more flimsy than the Adventure Sworn one, and it certainly hasn't been um, wet molded. So I want to try and remedy that situation, and I'm gonna use wax instead of water to mold the sheath, which will hopefully make it more watertight um, and yet still provide the molding that I need. So I haven't tried this method before, but I thought I'd give it a go. I did see somebody mention it on, on a YouTube, I think it was a review actually of this knife possibly, but anyway, I, I saw them talking about it in relation to an LT Wright sheath, and they mentioned they were going to use wax to wax form the sheath. Now, I haven't really seen it done, um, but it sounds intriguing. Obviously the wax will give the additional waterproofing, which is quite useful in a leather sheath. Um, so anyway, we'll see how I get on. I'm gonna have to melt the, the wax, rub it into the leather, and then heat it up, and then mold the knife around the sheath. Now I don't have a heat gun, so I'm gonna use my wife's hairdryer. Um, hopefully she doesn't find out. Um, but yeah, that's the method I'm gonna use. Okay, so I'm just using a spirit burner and this old aluminium mug to melt the wax. Right, so the wax is fully liquid now. So I'm just gonna use a cloth to apply it to the leather. Right, so the product that I'm using, the wax that I'm using, there's this one called G-Wax, which is actually says made in England. Um, and it's essentially designed for hiking boots and full grain leathers. So it is made from natural beeswax and should be exactly what I need for this job. All right, so the way I understand it, really, you've got to soak the leather full of wax first and then you heat it up afterwards and mold it around the knife. So that's what I'm doing now. Get off the head right So it looks like it's going to need a bit more wax. I think it's one of the things I'm learning is that it takes a lot of wax to soak in to make this malleable enough. So just heating up some more wax now. Right, so I'm hoping that by clamping it, um, it's going to cool in the position I want. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll see. Okay, so, well, it's dried out now, and I would say it's partially successful. Um, as you can see it's changed colour, and that's because of the wax, and it's obviously gained more durability in terms of water resistance, so that's good. I don't think the original had been treated at all, really, with any sort of oil or wax. So it's, it's definitely going to be more water resistant now. So that's an improvement. There is some uh, forming now. You can see it does conform to the knife a bit better than it did. But it, and it is slightly better on a tension, but not, it's still not how it would be with a wet form sheath. So not 100% convinced. I may not have done it right, but uh, it certainly hasn't worked as well as I was hoping it would. Um, if anyone has any ideas or any comments of how to do it differently to make it work properly, then please add it in, in to the comments. I'd really like to know. Um, I like the idea because I think putting using wax rather than water on something like this is, is a good idea because you're adding all that extra waterproofing. So I would like to get it right. Um, so as I say, partially successful, um, but I still need to do more, I think. What I did take the opportunity to do 
if you watch my other video, that really extreme spine that LT Wright always sends out, I knocked it off slightly so it's not quite as abrasive and that burr on the side is now gone. I just very, very with a, I think 1500 grit, just knocked it off very slightly. So I haven't really changed the 90 degree, I've just taken that burr off. Um, it just feels nicer to me. So that's it. Um, as I say, any comments, any advice definitely will be appreciated. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.